Hello everyone! Today's video is heavily inspired by Amy Nelson, aka Markiplier's girlfriend, because back in the day she did a video called What's on my bookshelf and she showcased some of her stuff on her shelf and did little stories behind them and stuff and today I wanted to do the same. I've been wanting to do this idea since I was so 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 young because of her and I'm just heavily inspired by her. So today is my what's on my bookshelf type of tour, whatever you want to call it, because I have some stories behind some of my items too. But I just thought it'd be a real fun idea and I just really love it. So no, I don't have a jazz horse pillow. I got my little cherry pillow from Five Below, which I absolutely adore and I love. But getting started with the top shelf, first we have the heart lights above me, which I just got those at Dollar Tree. They were um, just $1.25. I got them around Valentine's Day, so nothing too special there. Next would be my cactus light. And the little story behind that was the one day me and my father were at a flea market and I saw it and I'm like, oh, that's real cute. And it was only $2. So I went and I got that and I really, really love it. It lights up green and it's real pretty. The next thing I have is my shaved ice bear maker. My shaved ice bear maker. I have to be Amy for a sec. Nope, wrong way. Look, his eyes move. His little eyes move my favorite 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 thing which is this bear right this bear is a shaved ice maker so you put it in his head and then as you turn it nope wrong way his eyes move nope there they go his eyes move he looks back and forth as you make shaved ice see look his eyes move and um i got this because of amy and because of you guys uh a lot of you requested that I should get this and buy it because I found it on eBay because of the whole Unis Honest and Amy Nelson thing. So I did and I really love them and I want to use them for future videos like maybe like a snow cone video or a shaved ice video. So please let me know if you'd like to see that. The next thing I have is my little ice cream candle, which I love. I've obviously burned a big chunk of it, but I got this at the thrift store. I thought it was real cute and it wasn't used until I obviously used it, but it smells like chocolate. It's a chocolate candle. I got it at my local little thrift store. I just really love it. It's really cute. The next thing is my little seal. I call him Stanley the Seal. Um, I think that's the name he came with on the box. I'm not 100% sure. Stanley the Seal came from Dollar Tree too. He came from Dollar Tree and I think he's like a plant holder, but I had strawberry candies at one time and he used to hold them. So he holds like my little candies and if I ever get a plant, I might plant them, but Stanley the Seal, he's my little, little cup holder thing. And back of that, I have two records. I just hung them up for decoration. They were like 90 cents at my thrift store. There's nothing special about them, just kind of decoration. Now this, my best friend made for me. If you guys don't know, I also have a compilation channel called Planet Dorkpeeds, and um, she made this for me for Christmas and like my birthday. And I just absolutely love this. I love like she did the logo and did the little Planet Dorkpeeds thing. It's so cute and I love it so much. And Mackenzie, thank you so much for making this. And I'll get to another thing that she made, but for right now it's just i love this i know majority of you are from planet dork peeps so that's why hopefully this amy video or the markiplier references or lots of stuff like that i hope you guys get it i really just want to thank you guys for the support that you give me and the support that you come from like a compilation channel about like big youtubers that i make to like my own channel so just it's really awesome so thank you next is Bubbles the Bee Fish. He is a Beanie Baby original and he's worth, I think, at the least 200. I, he's gone up more than that, but I think when I looked at the tag, he's made either from, I think he's made from China, but um, crazy story about this. So me and my best friend were on the phone the one night and her grandmother has a whole lot of Beanie Babies. So we were looking them up and looking up how much they were and just how like rare they are. And on the list, the rare list um, was Bubbles the Bee Fish. His name's like Bubbles the Fish, but I call him the Bee Fish cause he looks like a bee. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and 
I fell in love with Bubbles the Bee Fish when I saw him on the list. I'm like, oh, does your grandmother have this one? And she was like, no, she actually doesn't. And I was like, well, if you ever find him or ever see that she has him, please don't sell him. I would love him. I will, you just can't sell him. He's an icon. And then um, a couple months later, I went to a yard sale and I almost cried because I found him and I asked the lady how much do you want for this and she said a dollar a dollar for one of the rarest beanie babies so obviously I gave her the dollar and I almost cried like I finally got him and it was just pure luck and like I just absolutely love him bubbles the bee fish my little mans then there's just a little rubber duck right there that my best friend gave to me because she's obsessed with ducks and she loves them next we have this little pac-man game and it does work it um you could actually play it hold on let me see if i could i'm gonna die yeah <laughs> it does actually work and there are levels and you could actually pass it but um my mom's boyfriend actually got this for me because um he does deliveries because he's like a delivery guy and someone gave him this as a tip so it's now my little pac-man machine that i really like Next thing my best friend got for me, it was a gift for my birthday, but it's this little Spongebob pineapple. It has Spongebob and it has pineapple. I am a Spongebob fanatic. I can quote the show. I absolutely love Spongebob. I've always had since I was younger. Oh no, my curl fell out. My curl fell out my hair. I'm a little sad about that. But it's okay because I love Spongebob and I love all the quotes and everything and she knows that so she got me this little Spongebob thing. I think you can get this at Spencer's because that's where I've seen it at least but uh, I really really love this guy. Next back there is my little coffee sign. Um, I got it at uh, it was like a real big outside flea market and I got it it's like a vintage sign for four dollars and I really like it so um, I'm really happy about that. It goes with the records. The next thing I have is this Polaroid camera. This did work at one point and then I dropped it and then it broke. So now it's just kind of decoration up there because I do have another Polaroid camera, my pink one, but I'm too afraid to like set that up because this is how this one fell. This one was up here and I think I bumped this and it fell off and it broke and it made me upset, but I got another one. Yeah, so this one is just kind of decoration up there and it kind of goes with the theme. That's the top shelf. So moving down to the second shelf, I have my little Coraline doll that I really love. That's supposed to be me. Um, one of my friends, she's a really good friend of mine. She uh, made this for me and uh, she made it for my birthday because she knows I love Coraline. And she made this uh, a few years ago when we were like, I think 15, 14, 15, something like that. But uh, yeah, Coraline's one of my favorite movies and it's supposed to be me. I have just like my cross and um, I have a little angel there, which um, one of my grandmothers died. Uh, my mom's boyfriend's grandmother, which I consider her like a grandmother because she lived with us and she was really close with us. Um, she sadly passed away and that little um, gold thing is her ashes that are in there. And I just put it on the angel because it was one of her angels and one of her crosses that I put together. So I thought that was really cute. After that, we have my Dookie Shrine. Now, for those of you that know, Dookie is my dog. He is my most favorite thing in the world. I love him so, so, so much. And I have like a little shrine to him because he's just my everything. So everything right there is my Dookie Shrine from the little uh, statues to the ornament and stuff like that. There's a picture in the back and everything. And this is the second thing um, my best friend made for Christmas for me. She drew me dookie and um she got the inspiration from this photo i'm gonna put on screen i put little scrunchies on his ears and that's what he looks like and i just absolutely adore it it's my one of my favorite things on the shelf and i just love my little dookie shrine because i love my dog so much i have a sand art thing which i made the one day at a sleepover at my friends which is kind of like just galaxy themed i also have this saturn light which i just got off of amazon for christmas i have a five below poster in the back which is of the starry night which i really love which is the background i have a little cloud light which lights up and it's just from dollar tree i got this from my cousin it's like a little a uh, lavender candle i think she got from a witchcraft shop and i really like it it smells really nice i'm so afraid to burn it because i think it looks so pretty 
I have my tarot card book and my tarot cards. My cousin got me them for Christmas, also I think from like a little witchcraft shop. And um, I've, I've used them. I'm not a pro at it, but I do like them. I do think they're real cool. I have my dream house book that's uh, made by Marcia, Cutie Pie Marcia. I haven't actually like, I started reading it years ago and then I stopped. So I really want to just read the full thing head to toe so I know everything of it just in one sitting. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. I have like just little books. I have this little sand in a jar, which when I went to the beach, I took one of these little jars with me that I got from Dollar Tree and I put some rocks and some little shells and sand in it from the actual beach. Um, you can actually see my Ocean City, Maryland vlog, which is on my channel, which is where I got the sand. My homemade bookmark, which I just cut up some CDs and put it on some black paper. The last two bottom shelves are just kind of like junk. There's like electronics, a little stuffed animal, my laptop, and underneath it's just some shoes and just stuff like that. And then the shelf next to me has just some of my cosmetic products and one of my, a picture of me and my friends and some papers that I have and my cute boba tea bear, which I absolutely love, my boba tea man. My pen holder, the cup that my best friend got me, um, an incense holder, some fake flowers that I got for my birthday, also from my friends, which I really love. My custom little wood burned mushroom guy. My first time wood burning, and this is what I made. I think he came out real cute. And then just my coaster. That's a mirror. It's a mirror coaster. Look, it's a ring light. It's you guys. But yeah, so that was my complete bookshelf haul, bookshelf tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video and I really hope this was a good little kind of fun nostalgia trip with Amy and everything going on like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the comments below. I love you and I'll see you all in the next one. So bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.